I will end my message on this note. We mothers are home builders. Hence, we should represent righteousness. Let us at all times be submissive and faithful to our husbands. By so doing, we will affect the lives of our children positively. Charity, they say, begins at home. Glory to God. That message was from our sister, Mrs. Teresa Okoye. Before we conclude today's meeting, I want the secretary to announce the name of people penciled down for this year's biennial confinement of Good Mothers of Faith Award, titled Ezine Kukwe, which will be coming up on the 27th of August at St. Faith Cathedral. Secretary, over to you. Ndine mama Ndine mazonu mao If you hear your name Please indicate your presence Uju onwoka Mary Jane oka Henrietta Oji. <laughs> Teresa Okoye. But not the least, Nkiru Ikeme. These are our nominees for this year's confirmment of Good Mother of Faith. Thank you. Lady Bridget, let's hear you. Members of the executive. CWO members. Yes. I greet you all. Thank you. I am very disappointed over the manner in which this list was formed. I, I will not challenge it, but I want to remind you all that this selection is not based on merit at all.
I don't like this. I say, don't worry. Am I not the sector of this? <gasps> Let's go. Madam Bridget's name would have been in places. She was really upset. Forget about Bridget. She got whatever she deserved. How do you mean, Lady Carl? How do I mean? You don't see her in the church? That woman is so pompous, so arrogant, she's completely full of herself. She thinks everything must revolve around her. Why? And she lords it over everybody. No. Listen, even if there were to be a second list, I promise you her name would not be on it. It's just that I feel for her. Feel for her? Yeah. Well, don't feel for her. Listen, I take the decision. The box stops on my table, and I say she doesn't go. I was personally marveled when my name was mentioned because I know I do not deserve it. At least not now. Mm. You're a very lucky woman. You just found favor in my eyes. I liked you from day one. You are lucky, I say, because I am the assistant chairman of the CWO. And I take the decisions, and whatever I decide stands. Eh? <laughs> and if you don't know it already, we play some politics in this church. I can see. <laughs> and I'm on top of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you in any case. You Thank you welcome. very much. You are welcome. You have, a, you have been a wonderful person. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. To God be the glory. <laughs> Lady Cal, I will not fail to bring my husband to the house. We must come and show appreciation for this wonderful gesture. You have to do all that. Yes, I have to. And please, 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 don't stop me. Okay. <laughs> if you want to, then I, I won't stop I you. very much want to. But come, I'm sure you don't have a ride. I don't. So let me give you a ride home. Oh, oh. thank you, thank you. women pay huge amounts of money just to get that title. Ah, who said? Well, we are usually lucky in our family. Oh, you can say that again. I don't come with that at all. Don't go there at all, at all. As far as I'm concerned, whatever one achieves in life is due to God's favor. Well, to me, luck and favor are one and the same thing. They are not, honey. They are not. You see, I have told you, you have to get closer to God. Moreover, you have to make more time for church activities. Well, that's a very difficult proposition. You know the nature of my business. Businessman. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that. Uh, may I have my own dance now? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the music. <laughs> John, 
Where are you coming from at this time of the night? Um, well, I, I went to a friend's house. And you stayed out this late? I have warned you time and time again about coming back late. Don't make me get angry with you, otherwise you'll have it all to me. Please. Please. I don't want your mood to change because I won't like it. Please go, calm down, eh? Calm down. You, Johnny. You have to listen to your brother's advice. Eh? Besides, it's not even safe to keep late nights. Come home first, after every day's business. Then you can go out again. Come and join us in the of finance in our CW. I single-handedly bought the musical equipment we use. Eh? I also provided half the money used in purchase our evangelizing bus. And many more. Eh? I, I was surprised that I did not hear my name among the candidates of the next Good Mothers of Faith installation. Eh? Bridget, it is very true that I'm the chairperson of the CW. But I was not the one who prepared that list. It was an unanimous decision and choice of the entire executive members. Furthermore, financial input of those members were not part of the criteria used for the selection. What criteria do you use? As in, what criteria do you use? I spend my money, my time, and everything just to make sure that the CW in our parish does not run behind. Instead of you people to show appreciation, you went and selected some unproductive members for the site. Oh, uh, well, Bridget, like I said earlier, the selection was based on the level of commitments and devotedness of those members in the service of God. So what you are saying is I'm a hypocrite, eh? Uh, not at all, Bridget. I didn't say so. Then why do you people leave me out? When the lives of uh, uh, Hereta Oji, we are severed. The most painful of all is the inclusion of Tessie, okay? For all I know, Tessie is not in any way qualified for that title. She's not up to, up to 10 years in our, in our parish. Eh? Most, most of all, she's buried. What? Bridget, what did you just say? Oh my God. How should you call your fellow Christian Baron? That Tessie has been married for eight years without a child doesn't mean she cannot bear fruit. And listen, when it is God appointed time, mm -hmm. she will have her own children. That's not my concern. What I'm saying is that I'm disappointed. Though my spirit is low, but it will not make me withdraw my membership. At all, it will not make me to withdraw my membership. Um, Bridget, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> After all, this is not the end of the world. Tomorrow might be your own turn. Thank you. I have heard you. And you are welcome. I see that
Mrs. Okoye? Yes, in normal. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. Uh, what are you doing with those things? I came to clean the church too. But it is not the turn of your group to clean the church. I know. I just want to do it on my own. Oh my. I have even finished working in the church. I want to see if I can help them outside here. You are blessed. You are blessed. Thank you. Oh, to the DJs. And there, there, there. <laughs> Nothing much, it's all about the national population census. Oh. I forgot to tell you what happened in the church yesterday. What happened? One of our CWO members ran into the church crying. Crying? Yeah. What for? She said her husband came home drunk and decided to take it out on her. That's very unfair. What did you people do about it? Two people were sent to her house. Myself and Mrs. Odita. When we got there, we met her husband snoring fast asleep by the balcony. <laughs> snoring on the balcony? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I hope you're not referring to Peter and his wife Mary. Who else am I referring to? Oh. They're the ones, of course. <laughs> How very unfortunate, Peter. Some people don't know how destructive alcohol can be. Mm -hmm. And that excess of it can cause death. Peter, Peter. <laughs> oh. In fact, I thank God for giving me a husband like you. <laughs> <laughs> And you the best. I'm Thank proud you. of you too. Thank you. <laughs> Um, John, I invited you here because um, I've been watching your behavior these last few months. I am your elder brother and it is my duty to correct you when you're going wrong. But the way you're approaching things is wrong. Nelson has just assured me of settling you. But all he needs is just some time. So be patient, he will surely settle you. For how long? Michael, tell me. For how long am I going to wait? He was supposed to settle me a year ago. He asked me to wait till Easter. Easter has come and gone. Where is the settlement? And now you are telling me to wait again. Michael, it's not possible. I will not wait. I will not wait. I will not wait again. It's not possible. I cannot wait. John, you don't have to shout at me. I am not shouting at you, but I'm telling the truth. I will not wait again. That's what I'm saying. Ah. John, I tell you, you must have to wait. Okay. Now, listen. Nelson has assured me of settling you come this Christmas. So, relax. Don't be in a hurry, okay? You know what? Just go back to the shop, okay? Everything will be fine. Have you finished? Have you finished? That's what, that's what you tell me. That I should wait. You keep on waiting. John. You don't need to hurry or anything with me. Lady Bridget, my sister, you don't have to be angry. It is not all over yet. See, 
I have not submitted the list to the parish priest for his endorsement. We can still do things to your own favor. Eh? All I need to do is talk to one or two members of the executive and your name will be there. Don't worry. Sepra, I'll be very, very happy if only you can do this for me. I want to assure you that I will show my appreciation in a very special way. Huh? Thank you very much. Lady Bridget, I say you should not worry. No problem, just trust me. Please, Miss Annika, trust me. I have trusted in you, we shall see. Okay. Thank no, you very much. Me. No problem. Bye yeah, now. <coughs> bye bye. I'm of the opinion that this list should be worked on before forwarding it to the parish priest. Mrs. Teresa Okoye is not qualified for the good mother of faith title. She is not. That's my opinion. Thank you. Tell me what are you saying? We all sat here together as a committee and made up this list. And now you want to change your story? I have weighed it properly and concluded that Lady Bridget Alon is more qualified and she be given that slot. Yes. She deserves it. Mm -hmm. Well, I am sorry that it is impossible for you to unilaterally change the decision of this executive committee. Yes. Yes. Says who? I say so. I, Kalita Nebolisa, I will have it here. I say so. Not in this church. You can practice that one in your house. If you have anything against Bridget, just go and sort it out. Can you say you just jealous? Yes! Put you I'm your not your fingers. Come you, on, of course. When did you enter this Enough of that! Enough of that! Enough of that! What can you do? Enough of that! I respect my chairman. You're very lucky. I'm standing up and you're still talking. Can you imagine? What is the meaning of this? She should answer that. I said, what is the meaning of this? The secretary should answer that question. We are supposed to be mothers, not cows in the motor park. Oh. We all selected those people on their basis of commitment. That's what I thought. And devoted mess in the service of God. Yes. That's what I thought. And that selection came after thorough analysis. An empirical finding. Exactly. Yes. Without taking this further, that selection remains valid. Thank you. And to be forwarded to the parish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have I made myself clear? Yes. 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 clear. Thank you. Thank you very much. But why is the secretary against me? Why? Mrs. Bridget. <laughs> she is so desperate over that position. Really? It's quite possible. <laughs> In fact, I think she has bought her over. Bought her over? Inside the church? Look at you. <laughs> there are a lot of things that go on inside the church, more than you can imagine. Really? I think I know why they, they, they have the courage to treat you with such contempt. What then? <laughs> That's a discussion for another day. But relax. Hmm? Relax. Just go. Uh, it's already done. Go on with your preparations. All right? I am assuring you. Just go on. You are already. You hear me? Already. Ezine. Go on. Go Carry on. Hmm? Congratulations. Good mother of faith. Thank you very much. Carry on. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Canister. Go and prepare yourself. Yes, we I are coming to that. eat and drink and <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> uh. My name is Mary. 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 That is a woman I love so much. That is
is a woman I love. There is a woman I love so much. Her name is Mary. 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 Mother Mary. Mama, we love you. Mama, I love you. There is a woman I love so much. Her name is Mary. Oh, yes. There is a woman I love so much. There is a woman I love. There is a woman I love so much. Her name is Mary. 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 Mother Mary. Mama, we love you. There is a woman I love so much. There is a woman I love. There is a woman I love so much. Her name is Mary. There is a woman I love so much. There is a woman I love. There is a woman I love so much. Her name is Mary. Mary. Oh, Mary. finding time to be here. I can't find the right words to express our happiness and gratitude to you for coming to honor us and visit our humble abode. I dare say 
that the portion of the Bible which says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord was specifically addressed to me. <laughs> I'm saying this because I have found in this woman not only a wife, but a friend, a mother, a burden bearer, a helper, most of all a true lover. Thank you very much, my husband. <laughs> Thank you. What else can I say? If I have a thousand opportunities, I will still choose you as my husband. <laughs> My fellow members of Catholic Women Organization, I have enjoyed a sweet marital life with my husband and my brothers-in-law. As you will notice, I do not have a housemaid. My brothers-in-law have helped to make my domestic work easier. Thank you very much. They may be naughty sometimes, but that's why they are men. <laughs> yes. I want to thank you very much, my lady, Lady Calista. My able chairperson, good mother of faith. Thank you very much. <laughs> our organization. Thanks for coming and thank you for this wonderful honor you have given to me. God bless you indeed. And bless, and bless you. <laughs> well, without wasting further time, I would like to use this opportunity to present to you my little gift of appreciation. Mother of faith, here is your car key. And if you don't mind my disrupting your whining and dining one more time, can we please step outside and behold? Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Just come, let's go. Come, come, see me. Come on, 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 come on. To be honest, I was almost jealous. Ah, Lady Carl, it's true. I've never heard a man in this day and age speak about about his wife the way he spoke about you. <laughs> it just goes to show that the guy is in love with you. Yes, I know he loves me, and I love him too. And that's nice. <laughs> but there's something missing. What is it? Remember what we talked about the last time you were here. The CWO members who were against you? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I foresee the same problem costing you your husband's love. It may not be now, but it soon will happen. So the sooner you do something about it, the better for you. 
I still do not get your drift, Lady Cow. I'm talking about your childlessness. What other solutions do I have? It's only God that gives children and at his own time too. It's true, but God helps those who help themselves. It's time you took your destiny into your own hands. I really do not understand you. Hmm. You don't understand? Really, I don't. Tessie. Tessie. Yes, you Get out of this situation you are in. Hmm? What do I do? My husband and I have gone for medical tests, time without number. The doctors keep saying we do not have any problem. We have even traveled abroad, did the same tests and the answer is still the same. We do not have any problems. Take a step further. Calista! What? My children, it is okay. Let us not get this family segmented. I know what it took me to build up this family since your father died. Please, you are all my children. Nelson, yeah. the truth of the matter is that John is due for settlement, and that is why we are all here. So, what can you say to that? Mama, all I am asking is that John should be a little more patient. You all know I was duped four years ago, and since then, I have been trying to beat my business into shape. I know what to do for him. Just give me more time. Um, John, you heard what brother said. Just be patient, okay? I know sooner than later he will settle you and everything will just leave. Michael, did I hear you say patient? And did I hear some more time? Eh? Of course. Didn't you hear him say he needed some time? Michael, I'm so disappointed in you. Were you not here? When John was supposed to be settled, and he next requested that John should serve him one extra year. One extra year. At the end of the one year, what did we see? He bought a beautiful brand new car for his wife instead of settling his brother. Tessie on her part, things becoming, uh, taking the title of mother of faith in the church is the ultimate, the best thing that can happen to her. And you are here talking nonsense, supporting them. Obum, what just what are you saying? Exactly what you heard. Is it a lie? Did you buy a car for her? Mind what you say. But is it a lie? Is it a lie? You said I'm having a boy. I'm having a boy. Listen, Obum. So Do you think it's by shouting that we're going to settle this matter? But don't ever do this. Don't ever talk to me like that. If I tell you what will happen, don't worry about my junior. Don't try. What's your problem? It's alright. Don't worry about it. Honey. What? Honey. Please, can I see you for a moment? Nelson, please, do all you can to settle your younger brother. Hmm? All right, Mama, I've heard you. Let me attend to my wife. Brother, you promised to give me some money for my textbooks. He's not giving me yet. Every time you see whining your mouth. Nah, 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 Don't talk to me like that. Why shouldn't I talk to you? That's Yes, what is it? Me? I can't believe that you just brought me to the village so that you and your brothers can just use me as subject for your discussion. I can't believe it. Honey, it's not what you think. Sit down, sit down. Look, we were only trying to sort out John's settlement. And it could not be done without mentioning my name. I mean, how could your brothers pass such comments about me. Have I done them any wrong? Why would they always use our timelessness against me? Why? Honey, it's okay. I'm, I'm sorry about everything, okay? Don't take it to heart. 
Remember we're in this together and I'm not complaining. Don't take whatever that never do well Obunleme says seriously. His life is as good as wasted. He's a frustrated hunter. So you don't expect anything good to come from him. Okay? Okay. Honey, I want you to do me a favor. Just mention it. Take me back to the city. At this time of the day, it's almost 4.30 p.m. I don't mind it. I have to get out of this place. Please. Okay, get your things ready. Very soon I will be leaving to the city. John, sit down. John. Yes, ma'am. When you get to the city, try and respect Nelson and his wife, please. Mama, I will now. Eh? Don't look for anybody's trouble. Beg, please. It's okay, Mama. I've heard all you said. Mm -hmm. Mama, I, I want you to do me a favor. Please. What is it? Mama, I want you to take good care of yourself. Mama, I'm sure you've heard what he said. Always take your drugs. Mama. Mama. Your tribe seems to be behaving well these days, but today it looks different. What's, what happened? Mama, some days are like that. Today no cash, no sales. Came back empty-handed. <laughs> okay, don't worry, my son. Hmm? Tomorrow is another day for you. Amen. Amen. And I will get a big cash. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be leaving. Really? I want to tell you that I'm leaving to the city. Oh, God. And, mm. ah, yes. Today, no couch, no says I don't have money. Not even in the house. Oh, what do I do? And my brother is going to the city. Say, what do I do? Money. Brother, no! Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, now. <laughs> Anyway, just manage this and let me keep this, eh? Thank you very much. Use okay. it to buy whatever it will, we can afford, okay. even if it's a bottle of beer. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, huh? Are you not encouraging him to take alcohol or what? Why not? Okay. Is he not a man? But I don't think that advice is good for him. And no, alcohol is good for the system. Of course. It's just the excess of it that is bad. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you go back to Messi's house, make sure you obey and respect him. Yes. Okay. Very important. But if he does anything bad to you, don't waste time. Not even a minute to let me know. I will. Okay? okay? But first, you must try as much as possible to be nice, respect him, and obey him. I don't want any trouble with him. Take care, okay. brother. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, my brother. I would do exactly as you said. <laughs> so, Chuma, same off to the road, eh? Mama. Just take good care of yourself, eh? I will. Mama, you will be all right. Mama, it's okay. Uh, John. When you get to Lagos, eh? 
Buy me that city bread. City bread, I like it a lot. City bread. Same journey. Mama, it's okay. Let me draw my gun. Come here. Brother, you heard Alba's a gift to you. Hmm? Just take things easy. I believe one day God will grant you your heart desire. It's okay, my little sister. Everything will be okay. And you remember to pray always, right? I've always been doing that. It all hinges on what I've been trying to tell you all this while. If you don't take care of your problems, nobody will. If your in-laws still consider you an outsider, it is up to you to change it. Up to you. Lady Kalista. It's not just that I'm a Christian mother, but a lot of people look up to me. This problem has gone beyond putting other people's feelings first. This is your life, your marriage, your future. You don't secure it, you lose it forever, my friend. No, I think your fear is the fear of the unknown. But I'm telling you, as a good friend, don't worry. Hmm? It will be all right. You will never regret this advice I'm giving you. What again? My conscience. Forget your conscience. You have a goal to achieve and that's number one. Don't worry. Look, nobody needs to know. Listen, I will link you up with a man who's not only going to cherish you, but protect your good name. Trust me, my friend. Go home, go home, go home. Your problem has been sorted out. Go and smile. Eh? Smile, you don't have any. in my house with music now go and put up that music did you hear what i said i said go and put up that music go and put up that music Now squeeze my hand and push me into the chair just because I said you should put up the music that was deserving my morning devotion. No, it's a lie, you. It's a lie. We wanted to up my music, but I prevented her from doing so. Will you shut up? You prevented her from doing so, John. You even have the guts to tell me that you laid your hands on my wife. Are you mad? Simply because she asked you to put up the music so she can do her morning devotion? You are becoming grossly insolent in this house. And I'm not comfortable with that. Don't make me do something I'll regret. Again. 
Okay, please. It's okay. Please, it's okay. Don't take it to heart. Okay? Thank you. Oh my God. Before I get to my room, I want to see you back in your room and stop being a nuisance. She said she had traveled with her husband Peter. No, she was at the last meeting. She didn't travel with him. Okay. I even heard Peter is back. Oh, I see. Yes. I want to find out from her the new date for our next book meeting. Okay, no problem. I'll just wait for you in the car while you go and see her. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> I said we must leave the search. Now that your needs are out, you are next. You can do it. I'm not. I'm not leaving I'm not leaving I'm not leaving I'm not leaving here. I'm not leaving here. Leave my daughter Don't be I Oh, <laughs> 
Vai que sim, não. Deixa eu pensar. Sim, stop crying. Let's move into the conversation first. Get up, get up. Let me come and cry the more, eh? It's okay, it's okay. Stop crying. Let's move into Can we sit down? Can you at least listen to us? Please? Be a man. Please sit down. Thank you. Thank you. You see, Mr. Ibe, you don't have to kill your wife because she has not had a male child for you. Children are gifts from God. It's also God that determines their sex. That when your three children are girls does not mean you won't have male issues. Moreover, you and your wife still have many more marital years ahead of you. You see, my Saibe, for you to obtain favor from God, should first of all appreciate what he has already done for you. Well, we all have our individual habits and it's only God that can help us stop the bad ones. Peter, I'm a man like you. But as you can see, my wife and I, we don't have an issue yet. But I have never laid hands on her for once. Never. Let alone sent her packing. So please, pay heed to what she has just told you. I'm sorry for what I have done to my wife. It is the devil that pushed me to do that. In that case, you have to find a way to resist the devil. All you have to do now is go out there, apologize to your wife, and bring her back into the house. I will do that immediately. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> each and every one of us for our individual and collective donations in ensuring that this year Maureen Sunday was a success. I also want to thank in a special way 
Lady Kalista Nebolisa, the assistant chairperson of Catholic Women Organization. Mrs. Tesi Okoye, Mrs. Ann Oforma, and others for their special contribution in charitable organization like Modless Babies Home, School for the Blind and Deaf, and so on. I thank you all once again. Ndenemama. I would very much like to thank our able chairperson for that wonderful speech. Let's give her another round of applause. And we pray that our Holy Mother, the Mother of Christ, will bless her indeed. Um, I'd like to introduce to you, if you look around, you see that we have a new face in our midst, a new member of the CWO in the person of Mrs. Virginia Oko. Would you please stand up and take a bow? Whilst it is necessary to acquaint her with the responsibilities of a CWO member, let us use the same opportunity to refresh our memories and recommit ourselves to the ideals of this organization. Let me then remind you that a CWO member is always loyal to the Catholic Church, no matter what. A CWO member raises her children, organizes her family, does everything she does according to the doctrine of the Catholic Church. Let us also refresh our memories here and remember that we ought to be committed, loyal, submissive wives to our husbands. That also, in everything that we do, we must give honor to the Mother of God our own mother, the mother of Christ, we must honor her and give her her rightful place. Financially, we are committed to the Catholic Church. No matter the situation, even if it means you have to sell your valuables in order to pay your debts in the church, you must do that. Think about our priests. We are loyal to them and we recognize them as the head of our parish. As such, their welfare must always be in our consciousness. We must contribute towards that. Finally, a CWO member must be a good citizen of our country. Ndinemama!
Calista. Hello, Senator. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Um, waiter. something to eat but before then if I could have a glass of red wine okay. and you fruit juice would be good for a start fruit juice come on have some red wine it's good for your system relax it's okay let me have the red wine there. right red wine first yeah good. Good. Oh, Senator some time now yes indeed I would like you to meet my friend Tessie, Tessie, this is Senator David. We call him the man with the eagle eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind your friend. I'm delighted to meet you, madam. It's my pleasure. Tessie. Yeah. That's a sweet man. <laughs> Thank you very much, Senator. Uh, I wouldn't mind if you call me just David. You are a beautiful lady. Thank you, Senator. Uh, you are an ugly man, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, Carissa. <laughs> oh, don't mind. Very, very awesome. Oh, so beauty, beauty needs handsome. Perfect, huh? Carissa, what do you say to that? I say, it's have a choice. <laughs> this is not something. Are you blind? Is there the Bakare? Which one is the Bakari again? I don't blame you. All you know is money, 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 money. Oh, stop. Don't stop. 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 Uh, stop. Uh, don't start now. I know where you're heading to now. That's why yes. I like Calabar people calling you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Joe. Hey. Hey. Now, what actually happened? Oh. is the Bakari now. Are you not going to the church for the night vigil with us? Oh my god. I've already forgotten tonight is a vision. Uh, let me go and get my Bible so that we can go. Charlie? John? Are you not coming with us? Me, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have that strength. What do you mean you don't have that strength? Look, go and get dressed. Let's go for the vigil. John, I said go and get dressed for the vigil now. What is wrong with that boy? If he doesn't want to be a Christian, let him go back to the village and, and worship idols. No, honey. He won't worship idols. God will still arrest him. He couldn't be worse than Saul in the Bible. God arrested him, so he will change. Let's see now, wait for that. What is still keeping them? Michael! John! Satisfied for a long time. <laughs> you are the best, my love. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You are wonderful. Uh, I don't know why Calista has kept you away from me all the time. <laughs> Hello, my lady. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'll, I'll come to the office on my way. Yes. I said don't worry now. Eh? I'll see you in the office. Yes, I'll give you the whole details. It's okay. All right. Bye for now. Eh? <laughs> oh, little girl. Hmm? Details? What details was she talking about? Not for your ears. You think I didn't hear what you said? You didn't hear I heard everything. You want me to tell you? Tell me. What is it? Tell me what. Okay, okay, okay. She said that my dummy is too big for you. <laughs> you didn't get it. All right, wait, 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 wait. He asks you how will I perform. <laughs> bad boy. And you are a sweet girl. <laughs> so I guess it's right. Look so happy. <laughs> What's going on? Have a seat. Oh, What's happening? Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> the senator is a stallion. He took me on a marathon. I never knew lovemaking could be so enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> but I told you. I told you. Oh, you Tell did. me more. As it is right now. I don't think it will be easy for me to leave him, even if I conceive. That's it. The interesting part of it is that he commended me at the end of the day. Something my husband has never done. Yeah. I am happy you're the one now telling me <laughs> eh, that this calls for a celebration. You're Rita! Right. <laughs> get me a bottle of stout. Tell her what you're going to have. Get me stout too. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. Tessie, when did you start taking alcohol? Your senator friend has been spoiling me. He hmm? taught me how to drink. <laughs> Good for you. You only have one life to live. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, let's drink up. <laughs> My dear, help yourself. Oh, right away. All right. So, we toast to the good life. To <coughs> enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> to getting what we want at the end of the day. Oh. <laughs> you talk. Add this to the ones you are already washing. And please be fast about it so you can also help me out with the car. Auntie Tessie, yeah. I cannot wash those ones. Why? I cannot. I will not wash your undies. I will not wash your underwears. I will not. Did I hear you well? Yes. 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 Jesus. How do you pay to stop? Talk to me like that. If you lay your filthy hands on me again, if you lay your filthy hands on me again, I'll beat you to a pop. Mm, I swear to God. Just try it. I'll beat you like a kid now. It's because I let you go scot free the last time you misbehaved. That is why you think you can rub shoulders with me. 
Wait until your brother comes back. Slay us. Can you imagine this woman? No? You stopped me. Hey, man, I'm no longer watching again. I'm no longer watching again. Mua, 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 you see the party. Hey, Mua, 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 you see the party. You try it again, I'll do it. You just come and try it again. Don't ask me any question. Tell me why you embarrassed my wife. She asked me to wash her clothes, which I was doing when she brought her on this. I refused to wash them. I said I would not wash them. Next thing she did, she slapped me. Can you imagine? She slapped me. But it's because I'm respecting you. I would have skinned, but I would have skinned her life. I would have beaten her up. How can, how can she slap me? How can she slap me for what? For what now? I see. Congratulations, John. In fact, a handshake for that. You would have beaten her up. You would have skinned her alive. You have the nerve to stand before me and tell me that you would have beaten up my wife without the slightest fear or respect. John, I am running around toiling day and night to raise money for you to start up a business. I am struggling hard so that your life can have a new meaning and all you think about is how to beat up my wife? I think I have had enough of this insolence. Go in there right now, pack your things and go back to the village right this minute. When I'm ready to settle you, I'll come to the village. But brother... Right this minute, not one word from you. I don't want to hear anything. Are you going with your bag? My brother sent me out of his house. Why? What did you do to him to warrant his action? His wife asked me to wash her clothes, which I was doing when uh -huh. she brought her on this. Can you imagine? Tessie wanted me to wash her on this. Then I refused. Next thing she did, she slapped me. Uh -huh. This slapped me. When brother came back, uh, she told brother everything and he threw me out of his house. I have to go now. John, you see what I've been telling you? You see what I've been telling you? No matter what, she's still your madam and you don't have that respect. The respect of washing her on this, Michael! Me! You can call it whatever thing you like, okay? John, we'll go back to that house. Nelson and I will find a way of resolving your... No! Mba, mba, no! No, I'm not going back to that house. Oh. Me, I'm not going back to that house again. At least my mind is still alive. I'm going back to the village. I'm not going back to that house again. I won't Let stop you if you insist. I insist. I'm not going back to the... No, nah, I go to the house. Send me well to my mama. Tell her I'll be coming back to the village next week to oh. see her, okay? Oh, I'll give you 
vous supportez Nas, si vous supportez Nas, écoutez, si vous supportez Nas, vous êtes la bonne chose. Bien, madame. So my mother was on what happened. He sent me out of his house. I don't believe Auntie Tessie could do a thing like that to you. What did Brother Michael do when you told him what happened? What could he have done? He was blaming me. He said that he's coming to the village next week. But my brother Michael even took sides with uh, Auntie Tessie. Can you imagine? Hey. I can't believe this. <laughs> hey. Hey. Mama, is it you stop crying? Mama, stop crying. Mama, stop crying. I know Auntie Daisy. She's not a violent oh woman. Hmm? No, but we know the full story when Brother Michael comes home. What are you saying to okay. you? I'm only saying Mama should stop crying. Ah. Mama, it's okay. Where is Obum? He went to check his trap. I think he's here. he should be on his way now. Send John packing from his house. That is a problem. Something packing. Is that why you people are crying and looking as if somebody died? Huh? John, sending you out of the house is not a big deal. Provided it settles you as agreed in our last meeting. That is the problem. That is the problem. You did not even give me a dime. Huh? A dime. A day after tomorrow, you make it one month. You promise to settle me. Got nothing! You did not give me anything! What money? Nothing! I mean nothing! Mama, this is not a crime matter! This is not a crime matter! Do you hear what I just said? Mama, listen! Let's see two days! Two days to comply! I'll settle my brother John! Even after two days, he did not come to settle John! I swear on my side! By the time I finish with him, nobody will agree we came from the same room! Mama, do you say your enemies? Yes, my enemies are work. I'm not your enemies, mercy. Mama, I've been nursing two days to come and settle down my brother. Two days. In other two days, he did not settle down. Mama, by the time I finish with him, nobody will agree we get back to both of us. I finish. Let him not come after two days. that is responsible for this. We never see anything good in his or her life. This idea of hunting is not favorable to me at all. Ndoka, why are you complaining? Huh? Is it because your trap did not catch any animal today? Or is it because of this one? No, huh? bro, no. Ah, man. You can say I'm going home without anything. Are you complaining because of this? Some days are like that. I thank God for my brother. Who said I should leave the village and join him in the city? Serious? <laughs> I will leave you. You should leave the village to the city. Of course I'm leaving. But I thank God for you. Hey, my brother. At least you have another brother that is responsible and very caring. Uh, he is. As better. for me, it's better I don't have another brother than the type I have. Honestly, it's better. That reminds me. What about your brother? Which one? Which of them? Your elder brother, Nelson. Nelson, that one, ha, that one that doesn't want to know anything about me. Ah, uh, you know that my younger brother now, John, uh, John. that served him uh -huh. and is long overdue for settlement. He has not done anything about it, not to talk of helping me. Ah, please forget what? about that. You don't mean it. 
So how do you plan to better your life? Or are you going to continue being a hunter all your life? Ah, uh, well, no. Uh, I will, I'll make some savings from the sales of my catch. I intend with time, I'll have enough to buy a bike. Mm -hmm. And I believe by the time I ride the bike for one year at least, I should be able to have enough money hmm. to start up a business on my own. No matter how small, it's better for me. It's better for me. It's a bit, honestly. It's a people. I wish you luck. Honestly, I need all I wish the you luck. luck. I need all the luck. By next week, uh, I'll be in the city with my brother. Hi. In search of greener pasture. <laughs> I envy you, my friend. Oh, but when I get there, I'll come back for you. I'll take you to the city. Ndoka. I'll make you rich as I'm going to be. Are you serious? Hey, <laughs> Ndoka. <laughs> You'll be such a nice no, friend. You yourself, eh? Hey, thank you, you yourself. very much. I look forward to it. Uh, hey. Now, uh, we're almost at your home. Yes, uh, yeah. just by the corner. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, you take care of yourself, eh? Please, eh? Say hi to your for me. Thank you very much. Well, you're not leaving today, No, no. So uh, we'll today soon. Okay. 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 okay, take, take care, care of yourself, eh? Yeah, she's inside. Okay. Tell her I'm around. Okay. Oh, Tessie! <laughs> Tessie! 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 Tessie. Tessie. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Hey, good to see you. Thank you. It's like you're about going out. Yeah, I'm rushing out. So I have a meeting with the Commissioner for Works. This is one or two contracts I'm pursuing. Hmm. My God, bet you hustle around a lot too. What do you want me to do? Hmm? My husband is dead. I have two children in the federal school. How do I make ends meet if I don't hustle? You're right. You're very correct. <sighs> Lady Carl, I have something bothering me. What is it? Is it your husband? Mm -mm. It's this issue of pregnancy. All this while I've been going out to the senator. I've not been able to conceive. I'm beginning to think that something is really wrong with me. I don't think so. Maybe you've always missed the target. How? Have you been meeting him when you are, you know, ovulating? Oh, Lady Carl, <laughs> you talk as if I'm still a little girl. Of course I do, but no results. Listen, Senator David is a real man. You confirm that to me yourself. So just be patient. Sooner or later, you're going to be pregnant. I know it. I hope so. You know I have so much confidence in you. <laughs> Do you still enjoy the relationship? Oh, tremendously. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember the last time we were together. It was big fun. I had a mm. wonderful time. Don't let the enjoyment cost you the pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> come, 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 come. I gotta go. I'm working out. Okay. Everything will be alright. Maria! I'll be back soon, okay? I'll be alright. Thank you, my dear. This is insane. Okay. Michael, good evening. I thought you had gone to bed. Yes, brother. But I just came back to tell you I'll be going to the village tomorrow. The village? Yes, brother. Is everything all right? Yes, brother. Everything is all right. 
It's just that I want to see my man then uh, spend the weekend with them. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. That's nice. Well, when you get to the village, greet Mama. Tell her I'll be coming home next week for John's settlement. But one more thing. Don't forget to tell her why I sent John back to the village. Sure, I will explain to her. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mike, greet Mama for me. Tell her I'll be coming to the village with my husband to see her. Also remind her not to relent in her prayers as we discussed. Sure, I'll tell her. Well then, have a safe trip. Sure, thank you brother. Okay. Good night. Before you go to bed, let us say our night prayer here. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the heart of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirits, and they shall be created. Thou shalt renew the face of the earth. In the name of the Father, Thank you. Good night, brother. Good night. Michael is such a mommy's pet. Well, it's very thoughtful of him to want to go to the village and spend time with her. It's very nice. I like it. Yeah, he's always wanting to go and see my mom, see how she's faring. Colossus, my colossus. Dinoscopy! Dinoscopy! Oh, my God, I'm going to see you. Jesus Christ. Man, this is a dream. I don't want to wake up. You're not dreaming, man. It's me, Dan. What are you doing here? Um, I'm waiting for a bus. I want to go and see my mama in the village. Um, so, where are you heading up to? Well, just cruising around town. Actually, I came into town to sign a business proposal with our Shell Petroleum. It is a lie! And for the moment, I'm lodging a sub on hotels and suits. Dan, are you telling me that this Jeep is yours? In this car? Of course, it's one of my cars. The least even. Michael, my hotel is very close by here. Why don't you join me? Let's go there and have some chat before you travel. Wait, Dan. Are you asking me or telling me? Ah, no problem now, let's go! Danoscopy! So me. How has it been when I walk To be honest with you, life has been very hostile with me. Ever since I finished my youth service, no job. As if time was running against me, I went into business. But to tell you the gospel truth, I hardly take three square meals. So, what kind of business do you do? Oh, I deal on tires and rims, cars, accessories and stuff like that. It's okay, it's okay. You know what? I gotta help you to fix a better job. Because you made a second class honors upper division. So, that's a very good result, okay? Honestly, Dan, I will appreciate. Don't judge, don't bother. What are you friends for? Hop in, hop wow. in, hop in, man. Hop in, Let's hop go, in, Dan. Hop. My Colossus, my Colossus. Wow. This is a moving house! Yeah, man, come on! <laughs> that was <laughs> Every day. 
Yes. Really? Yeah. I was highly thrilled. <laughs> you haven't seen anything like that? I assure you that it will get better as we get along. This is only a tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. Darling, you are beautiful. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> Anything the matter? No, 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 caught me red-handed kissing Senator David at the hotel. Oh, Is that all? That's the big deal? Come and wipe your tears. There's nothing to that. Oh, we can sort that out. Come on, you just need to talk to him and make him uh, not say anything. Don't worry, wipe your tears. Oh, I thought it was something more serious. I know Michael. He's one of those times and do not believe in hiding evil. He will definitely tell my husband. And that means trouble for me. I'm in trouble. Where is he now? Where is he? He must have gone to the village. He said he wants to go and see Mama today. I don't know what brought him to the hotel. I don't know. I'm in trouble. Tessie. Now I know you're not one to jeopardize your marriage, right? Not at all. Okay, now listen to me. You will go to the village. You will have a word with Michael and try and convince him. Use everything you got. Now should he prove difficult? Hmm? We will have to deal with him. And don't worry, I can take care of everything. All I need is for you to be Hearted. What do you mean, Jim? The thing? Hey, Calista! Good. I'm finished. Sit oh, down. God. I'm finished. You will do what you have to do. Oh, God! Hey, Calista! Oh, God! Honey, I'm on my way to work. Okay. Honey, there's a problem I have to attend to urgently. What is it again? I thought I gave you some money yesterday. It's not money. It's your mother. My mother? Yes. What about her? I had a terrible dream about your mother, so I need to see her urgently. Okay, um, 
I need to go to the village myself in two days' time for John's settlement. Maybe we can go together. I just have this business transaction to seal up with my associates from Holland. I told you about it. You said so. I need just today and tomorrow to take care of that. Maybe you can wait. I wish you allow me go. I just want to make sure nothing is wrong with Mama. God forbid, nothing will go wrong. In that case, maybe I should go with you. The business can wait. There's no need for that. I can handle it. Moreover, I'll call you on phone if there's any need for that. So I shouldn't bother? No cause for alarm. Okay then. I, uh, I kept some money in the drawer. I use it. In the meanwhile, greet Mama for me. Tell her I'll see her in two days' time for John's settlement. Okay? Sure, honey. In the meanwhile, you have a nice trip. Further problem by announcing her to send John home first. Though he promised to come here and settle him here in the village by next week. While all these things were going on, Michael, what did you do? I went mean, How do you mean what did I do? How do you mean? So you mean the watch nurse send out his own brother out of his house and he could not do anything? Nothing at all. What could I have done? What could I have done? Mama, the house is not mine. My girl, I am ashamed of you. You are the most stupid person I've ever seen in my life. You, Michael. I beg your pardon. Obum, if not because of my brother, I would have taught you a lesson you ever lived to remember. Michael! Obum Neme is your elder brother. You should talk to him with respect. Hey, eh? Mama, please stay out of this. Obum is unable to realize and understand his position in this family. That is why he always talks rubbish. Oh. Michael. You talk rubbish. Imagine you, do a brain like you. Do you have anything in your brain? Do you have anything okay. in your brain? Do you know what your problem is? Frustration and illiteracy. And you know it. Okay. You sound frustrated? You heard me. And you call me an illiterate? You heard me. Now what else? Now tell me, had it been you smelt the four walls of the university, you wouldn't have been here shouting, ranting, like a wild Rottweiler. Michael, if I had not, had not paid your school fees and given you money for handouts and accommodation, Michael, would you have been a graduate today? Michael, even when you are not able to get a job and contributed financially to the business you're doing now, oh, Michael, so you're making mockery of me because my shop got burnt in the market fire incident. That's why you're talking to me? If not, what would have given you the opportunity to talk to me the way you're talking to me now? I don't blame you. You ungrateful fool. Abu? Yes, you are ungrateful fool. How dare you call me? Why would I call you that? Abu, I'm not calling you that. Come on! Come on, 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 come on! I know why I refused and came straight to see you and Mama. John, we would have followed Brother Michael to Nelson's house. Maybe your problem would have been this, would have been solved here and there. You don't understand. Uh, I understand. You so don't understand these people, especially Brother Nelson. He never goes back on his books. Especially what concerns his wife. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Tell him, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Look at you. Bad. Are you two? Yeah, How about yeah. your husband? My dear, we are fine. We are fine. Are yours? Fine. Hey, we are yeah. fine. Yes. Uh -huh. Are you just coming from the city? Yes, I'm just coming. I hope all is well. My dear, your brothers in law, Mike and the album, they almost keep themselves. Yeah. But we thank God that some elders are in and got them separated. When did this happen? Just yesterday. Yesterday? Mm -hmm. What was the cause of the fight? Eh? My dear, I don't know. Dear, yeah. oh God. I hope no one was hurt. No one was hurt. I even saw Michael. Uh -huh. uh, that your farm uh, near that uh, palm tree plantation. Okay. Uh, oh, he's there. Uh, he's it's there actually my husband, my father-in-law that has that plantation. Uh, yeah, 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 that's lovely. Yeah. Uh, he said he wants to go and inspect the pantries and see if they are ripe or not. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Let me go and see Mama. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Hey, much is okay. Take this bread. Sorry, I didn't buy much of my mm? mm. For me. And <laughs> hey, God. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, I thank God, oh, Father. I thank you. Our ordinary bread. Akwangwa, you said ordinary bread. You will see this up in the village. <laughs> Look at you. I know. Huh? Yeah, this one is thank for God. you. Thank God. Come now. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm thank, you. thank you, my dear. Thank I'm you. So grateful. See you later. Hey, thank you, my okay. dear. Let me go and see, Mama. Do, do. Hey, uh, thank you. Bye bye. Hey, uh, bye bye. Ah, Jesse. What are you doing here? Have you told anybody what happened? No. Why do you ask? Thank God. Uh, Michael, please. I have come so we can talk things over. Please. You see, I could make you one million naira richer. And I'll make sure my husband stuffs your shop so very well. Please. Is that all you can say? Listen, Tessie, if you have any apologies to make, it should be made to your husband. You see, I'm not the type that sees any evil and conceal it. Though I've not told anybody because of the problem I had with Obum yesterday. You had a problem with Obum? Oh, we fought. See, uh, Michael, please forgive me. I promise I will never do it again. It was the devil that pushed me into such an holy act. You know my problem. I am childless. I needed desperately to become a mother. To make your brother happy. Please, Michael. I wouldn't want anything to break up my family. I love my husband. You know it, Michael. I love your brother. So please. I am sorry, Tessie. It's too late. Mike. I thought you would see reason if I approached you. But I can see you are very stubborn. Look at me. You may think I'm a soft woman. But I am not. I don't care whether you are soft or hard. I only feel sorry for your husband. When he realizes how you've turned yourself into a cheap whore. Wait till I get to the city. Michael! Tessie! I will not have anything come between me and my husband. Tessie! No, Tessie. Ah! 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 Mike! Mike! 
Michael! Ay! Michael! Who did this to you? Mike! Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Somebody help me! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! I am finished! I am finished! My own brother! Oh! What? The? Hello! What is it? Ah! They have killed my brother! They have killed my brother! They have killed your brother Michael with you! Yeah! How can I have why now? Why did you carry the quarrel to this bush? Ah! Somebody help me! How dare you lie? Oh, I can I lie! I can I lie! My brother Michael! Michael, wake up! This is an abomination! Let's go! Let's go! Michael, let's go! Let's go! Michael, let's go! Let's go! Can someone help me? Oh my God! I can't him. Oh, oh, oh! Abum has killed his brother. No, his son. How? How could I have killed Michael? Jesus! How could I have killed Michael? I did not. Hey! Hey! That's true. I did not kill him. I did not kill my brother. Why? You know, where are you get man? Oh! Hey! I did not. How could I have killed Michael? You're like, shut up! Ah! Oh! Welcome, my brother. Welcome. Welcome. How are you? I am. I'm so happy you are healthy and sound. I've been having bad dreams. Hence, I came to see you. Oh, look! Look and see, I'm fine. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got something for you. What kind of nurse is my son? Everybody's fine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I got all this. For you, my sweet mother. Oh, this is for me. Yes, yes mama. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you. You are a very good woman. Thank you, mama. I pray that God will one day bless you and my son with a, a child. Thank you very I'm much. I'm Babu. I'm Babu. Uh-huh. What is it? Mother's trouble. But why are you running like somebody pursuing you? My mama is dead. Jesus! 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 Who tells me that? He said, yeah. They said I won't shot him to death. And they have taken the cup to go to Paris. Hey! 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 I greet you all. Thank you. What happened today is an abomination in the history of Fomunza. 
There has never been a record of this. And this matter must not be taken lightly to avoid the repeat. My people, when I separated the fight between Abu Nema and Michael yesterday, this is the I know that Abu Nema would come back and to kill his brother Michael. This is terrible. For the interest of those who did not come early enough, I now ask Ubaka to narrate what happened this morning. My people, we were in the farm today when I suddenly had a gunshot and a shout. I ran towards the direction only to behold Obun Nene with his gun with which he killed his brother. Hey, 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 hey. I started shouting and people gathered. Oh, that's all. Hey. God is my way. God is my way. I'm going to say the truth. Huh? I did not care. I also had the ghost shot at the south. I rushed to the direction. Only to find out that it's my brother, my care. How could I have killed my brother? I did not do it. Hey! Hey! I did not kill him. My good people of Eloza. We should not take the laws into our hands, especially in a case as dicey as this one, where witnesses saw the shocking and heart-rending brutality based on this fact. We don't want to follow our tradition. The law enforcement agents have already been alerted. Our answer is that justice must be yes. Oh, very good. Where they are? Yes. Where they are? Yes. Gunmen. Please, this way. This way. You are welcome. This is the young man. He says he's not guilty. Please take him away and do all you can to get the truth from him. Hey, please, please, please. Young man, you under arrest. Corporal. Corporal. Hey. No, justice. Justice. Please. 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 If we, if, we, if we don't do this now, justice must be there. Please now, please now. What? No, no, no. Take him away. Please now. Please, my son. I did not see my brother Mike. And I know my God will vindicate him. Go. Go, 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 move, 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 move. Your Highness, we can't do We'll get back to you.
let us pray for the departed soul of our brother Michael, who had just been buried. Let us also pray for the soul of our brother Michael, that had just departed, that he may obtain pardon from God that he so much desire. Lord, we pray for your clemency for our brother Michael. May the soul of our brother Michael Okoye and the souls of all the faithful departed. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. And may they rest in peace. Amen. God be with Father, you. Please let me say something. Go ahead, Mama. Say what you want to say. Mama, <laughs> tell us. I want to say. <laughs> Michael, you are my son. I will continue to be my son even though you are lying still dead here. I will name him equally my son. Although he said he is not responsible for your death. <laughs> Michael, my son, may your spirit continue to hunt and keep your mother as restless until the whole truth is revealed. May your soul rest in peace. Amen. <laughs> John, this is a check for five hundred thousand naira. Add it to whatever Michael has in his shop. From now on, what was Michael's is yours. All right? Okay. My son Nelson, thank you. Thank you very much. My sons, when you get to the city, try and stay in peace. Live as brothers and don't quarrel. I don't want to hear stories again. All right, Mama. Nelson, don't forget your mother and your sister, Jim. This is 50,000 Naira. I'll be coming home from time to time to see you. And please remember, if there is any problem whatsoever, send Chinwe to me in the city. Thank you. Auntie Daisy, thank you. I know you and Brother Nelson will never forget us. Auntie, please, continue to take good care of John. And continue to accommodate him. You know he doesn't know how to cook. Don't worry, my dear Chiwe. Johnny has no problem. Remember, men will still continue to be boys. <laughs> and what will women continue to be? Women will continue to be more than. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we heard it all from her. <laughs> Thank God I didn't say it. A penny for your thoughts, my dear. Auntie Tessie, what of my own? Don't worry, Johnny. I have a big surprise for you when we get back to the city, okay? Okay. Well, Mama, we shall be leaving early tomorrow morning. Always remember all that we discussed. All right. And let me hear from you soonest. Hmm? Right. No problem. All right. Don't worry. Everything will be all right, okay? okay? We'll be coming back soon. Let's yeah. visit one or two. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I hope we'll soon be ready to right. come when you come back. <laughs> wow. Don't Yeah, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. This is your mouth. Is that... 
The attitude of some of our members in this organization is very unbecoming of any members of CWO. We are all Catholics, committed members of CWO. As the chairperson of CWO, I vowed never to allow sentiments be clad my emotions. Neither will I support any form of jungle justice. Before we pass judgments to any of our members, we must make sure that the allegation is thoroughly investigated and the accused duly notified. To cut the long story short, Mrs. Catherine Udensi fights with her husband in the two-room apartment where they live. She quarrels with her co-tenants. Mrs. Udensi, stand up. CWO. Mrs. Udensi's behavior is very unbecoming of any members of CWO. She is a notorious gossip. Mm. And she has been caught sleeping around with a man who is not a husband. Only oh, Mary. Can she be worthy of a CWO member? Oh. Mrs. Uh, Angelo, should you stand up, please? Mrs. Angelo Suji is a staunch member of CWO, right? Yes. Well, Madam Staunch Member allowed her daughter, gave permission for her to marry a non-Catholic. Tell me, is that the behavior of a true member of the CWO? No. no. I rest my case. Ninne ma'am. So, Mrs. Catherine Udensi and Mrs. Angelo Suji are now suspended from this organization. <laughs> and they will receive the rest punishment from the church authority. Please, can both of you leave us? And let this be a lesson to us all. The law is no respecter of persons. You break the laws of the CWO, you suffer the consequences. Yes. Ndinne mama. Mary Nelson. Shall we pray before we disperse? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Well, it's been three days now since we all came back from the village. And I'm sure every one of us has had a good rest. As we all know, Michael is no more. And we pray that his soul may rest in perfect peace. Amen. John, this is the key to Michael's room and all his other keys. You can pack your things there. Honey, I nearly forgot. We kept something in that room. Oh yes, that's true, that's true. Um, John, give the key to your auntie to pick up something for me. You can take it to my room. Sit down, John. John. You're entering a new phase in your life. Now that you've been settled, I want you to be very hardworking. Riches can only come when you're ambitious enough and prudent in your spending. Please, stay away from women. Otherwise, they will cripple your business. And that will mean going back to the village to farm. And I'm not sure that's something you want to do. Thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate it.
Je peux pas vous aider. Honey, there is no blood on Michael's portrait. Look at his eyes, my woman. Honey, listen, listen, it's just your imagination. There's no blood on Michael's portrait. Look, look, look. Mm. I know how much you loved Michael and how close both of you were. Come, let me take you to the room. You need to rest. John, please bring this cat into my room, eh? Let me take your auntie to my room so she can rest. Good evening, madam. Good evening. How may I help you, please? Yeah, um, I am Dana, Michael's friend and uh, classmate. I have come to check on him. Oh, Michael. Yeah, Michael. In fact, uh, I have come to inform him uh, about the share contract we discussed last week. It has paid off uh, and uh, he's needed for a job interview. As a matter of fact, uh, I want to introduce him to um, uh, the company's MD if I go back to state. Oh, my God. Madam, is everything all right? Michael is dead. What? Oh, what a pity. Honey, what is it? Oh, Hello. Michael's Good evening, friend. sir. Good evening. Uh, you, you must be Michael's elder brother? Yes, you're correct. Oh. I am Daniel, Michael's friend. Oh, I see. Please sit down. Yeah. He just told me Michael is dead. That's correct. Michael's death came as a shock to all of us. In fact, we're still trying to recover from it. He told me he was going to the village and the next thing I heard was that someone shot him in the bush. We just concluded his funeral. I'm really sorry about that, okay? Please take heart. Thank you. Oh, shit. I just came to check on him. It's really sad. Please take heart, okay? Accept my sympathy. Thank you. Oh, Michael. What a world. Thank you. I have to start going, okay? we we'll see some other time. Just take it easy, okay? No problem. Uh, Everything's gonna be alright. Thank you very much. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Madam, please take heart, okay? came back from work. Yeah. You really are working too hard, honey. You need some rest. Mm -hmm. Maybe next week you will attend the crusade with me. No problem. It's a promise. Mm -hmm. Have a lovely night's rest. It's okay. Let me go and drop you. Then I'll come back and rest. No, 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 honey. You don't need to bother. 
I'll find my way to the church. No, it's okay. I'll go and drop you and then I'll come back and rest. Thank you very much. You are the best in the whole world. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. So I'll come and pick you up in the morning? No, 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 honey. You don't need to bother yourself. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Is it not risky? It's not. Uh -huh. Take care of myself. I love you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Good night. See you when you come back. Yes. kept you so long? You know I have a meeting at the state house. I remember. You should have come earlier so that we have enough enjoyment before I leave. I'm sorry. I was occupied by something. But don't worry, I'll make it up to you. Mm, it's all right, my dear. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing is that you are here. Uh, but uh, then, I don't like your dressing. You look like someone who is going to the monastery for prayers. <laughs> <laughs> your guess was right. <laughs> I was actually meant to be in the church for a vigil. That's, uh, yes. that's so? Yeah. Right. Watch me transform. Ah, my darling, you are full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Love you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'm meeting for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we start? Floor? The bed? The floor, of course! <laughs> but first of all, you have to show me how much you must be. Come I 
the vigil quite explosive honey really Once you were there what happened ah, that visiting priest i'm sure he must be a monsignor his sermon was torching mm. i wept as i listened to mm. him i marveled at the signs and wonders he performed i wish i had gone with you <laughs> you really missed out honey <laughs> <laughs> His message was directed to the barren and the less privileged oh, in the society. How touching. I was overwhelmed. It must have been a memorable experience. Quite memorable. It's okay. Come, come, come. You're very tired. Let me go and run some water for you so you can take your bath. Come, come. Huh? Thank you very much. <laughs> that you were tired so sit down sit down sit thank down. you very much <laughs>
separated the fight between Abu Neme and Michael yesterday. This is I know that Abu Neme would come back and to kill his brother Michael. Hey, hey, this is terrible. Hey, hey. For the interest of those who did not come early enough, I now ask Ubaka to narrate what happened this morning. My people, we were in the farm today when I suddenly had a gunshot and a shout. I ran towards the direction only to behold Obun Neme with his gun with which he killed his brother. I started shouting and people gathered. God respond. Obun Neme said the truth. <laughs> I did not care. I also had the gun shot at the south. I rushed to the direction. <laughs> Only to find out that it's my brother, my care. How could I have killed my brother? I did not do it. My good people of Omoza, we should not take the laws into our hands, especially in a case as dicey as this one, where witnesses saw the shocking and heart-rending brutality based on this fact. We don't want to follow our tradition. The law enforcement agents have already been alerted. Our interest is that justice must be yes. Oh, very good. Where they are? Yes. Where they are? Gun men. Please, this way. This way. You are welcome. This is the young man. He says he's not guilty. Please take him away and do all you can to get the truth from him. Hey, hey, please, ma'am, please, ma'am. Young man, you're under arrest. Copra. Copra. No, justice. No, 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 Justice. Please, Igwe, 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 please, Igwe, please, Igwe, please, please, Igwe, 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 That little girl, oh, she was gracious. Her movement, the hip rigging, and all that. You are marvelous, highness. marvelous. You are highness. <laughs> are you sure you are not trying to take another wife? <laughs> no, 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 no. There's nothing like that now. There's nothing like that. But you see, I must admire nature. I must give honor to whom honor is due. You know what impressed me most? No. In the history of our town, this is the first time we had foreigners coming to watch and witness what was happening in that culture. Yeah, I agree. That is what is called cultural. Ha, yeah. ah. officer. Yeah, How are you? Fine, sir. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. 
How far? Well, um, Your Highness, we've come to report to you that after all our investigation, torture, and interviews, we think that the young man is innocent. How? 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 How can you say the young man is innocent? When there were witnesses there! How? How? Tell me! Tell me how! How? Your Highness. Yes. Remember, the witnesses told us that they did not see the suspect yes. point a gun at the victim. Uh -huh. That they saw him with his gun on the ground while he was lifting up the victim. So? Excuse me. <laughs> Your Highness. Yes. This is the autopsy report. Autopsy report? Yes, Your Highness. All right. Good, good for yourself. Look at this. <laughs> this is strange. Oh, well, Your Highness, as you can see, he was shot dead with a pistol and not with a double barrel gun. And we have ransacked the entire family compound, but we could not find any pistol. <laughs> uh, officer, are you no longer policeman? <laughs> You don't have to carry this report, uh, this investigation. You don't have to search the compound alone. Try some other places. You know, a little more serious search will bring something. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. We base our judgment on facts. Witnesses, let's I know. All right, all right. Even at that. I believe that your man is only trying to be smart, yeah. very smart. My cabinet believes that he killed his brother to settle scores. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Remember, they fought a day before the victim was shot dead. Exactly. You see? Exactly. In that case, Your Highness, what is your stand in this regard? My stand? Yes, uh, 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 uh. Simple. Justice. Mm -hmm. Justice. That's it. A little more invest investigation with a little more torture. Get the truth out of him. In that case, we'll continue to detain him. Ah, uh, detaining him is not as important as using other strategies That's to right. force the truth out of That's him. That's it. So, I don't know. But you see where I'm going to? Yes. There's a tango. Oh, you are in order, you are your highness. They should apply okay. for Okay, your highness. We have heard you. Thank you. We have to be on our way. Thank you. Thank you, eh? That's right. This is a problem. This is a problem. Mama, you know you feel that thing now. Mama, Mama, you're crying again. Mama, it's okay. You know you're sick. Mama, it's okay, eh? Tell me, my daughter. Yes, Mama. What do you want me to do? I can't stop crying over the death of my son. Mama, it is okay. Stop crying. There is no amount of tears that will bring back Brother Michael to life. Mama, you know. So wipe your tears, oh? It's okay. Who's it going? What a problem. What a problem. No matter what happened, I can't afford to lose my two sons. I cannot. Mama, you will not lose them. Mama, I understand what you're saying. But you won't starve yourself to death to save someone else. Mama, please eat your food so you sleep well this night. Oh? Mama, please, eh? You need to sleep. And here? Mama, please. Mama, please. Please. Mama, be cool. Mama, be cool. That is my mama. Mama, did I give you meat? No, I quit that time. Mama, no. No, it's not okay. I'll feed you. Mama, please. 
for my friends' kids. John, sit down. John, what I'm observing in this shop is not impressive at all. You have to put in more effort and concentrate on this business, otherwise you'll make nothing out of it. But I'm trying all I can. You know I'm not a lazy type. I'm trying my best. But can't you see that your best is not good enough? Or are you blind? That is the problem. It's as if the more effort I put in, the more disappointment I receive. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I have told you what I observed. Your business is going down. You have to be very careful. I'm going back to my shop. Wake up, it's me, it's Nelson. Tessie! <laughs> Tessie! <laughs> what is it? Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. How about Mama? She's fine. Really? My goodness. You look so different. Ah, thank you. I hope Mama saw you in the party. Ah, ah. <laughs> she allowed it? Yes. Hey. That's a good girl now. Yes. Welcome, eh? Thank you. Say Mama, it's okay. How was your journey? Fine. Welcome, brother. Your brother was so good. You know now. Come <laughs> on. Welcome. Long I tested five minutes. Well, <laughs> I promise you, you'll eat plenty of it before you go back to the village. And Mama will recognize me again. <laughs> then you add so much weight and look plumpy and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you said everybody in the village is alright, huh? Everybody's fine. Mama sends her greetings to you and Auntie Daisy. Okay. Um, Tiwa, I hope uh, Michael's death does not affect Mama or bother Mama this time around. Please, excuse me. Let me get some more water. Okay. Mama, it does, uh, in fact, 
That is the main reason why I came to the city. Mama does not eat. She does not sleep well. She is so much worried about Obum Neme. And I said, well, I should come home and do something about his release. But Mama should understand that this is a murder case. And as such, there's little or nothing I can offer. Anyway, I'll see what I can do. Well, please try, you. Please try. Ghost issue is becoming consistent as there's hardly any week the ghost does not appear at least two or three times. I see him in my room, I see him in my kitchen, I see him on the television, I see him everywhere, everywhere. I hope your husband is not aware of these sightings. That is the problem, Lady Carl. He knows. And he has been asking a lot of questions. I nearly implicated myself on one occasion. My husband even suggested we visit a reverend father. But I'm afraid to do that. Tessie. Can you come back here tomorrow? Just about this time? Yeah. I will take you to a place. And once we get there, these ghost stories will be history. Really? Hmm? I will. I will come. Dika, 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 What is the name of the young man? His name is Michael. Michael. Uma, you killed an innocent soul. And the gods are not happy with you. If you had collected the bullet he gave you, you would have been dead by now. Nevertheless, put down what you have here and let us appeal to the gods. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
my daughter, you can go. And come back on the next decade. But don't forget, when coming, come with the very cloth you were putting on the day he appeared with the bullet to you. And when you come, we shall go to Obu. Obu the Great River. The river of Oziroye. Oziroye the God of Retribution. You can go. Thank you. Thank you, my Thank you, my daughter. This is the clothes we are putting on that day when he appeared with the bullets. What is it? It's in this bag. Change and put it on. Stay with my star woman. The funny face of a ego does not prevent it from being dragged to the market when the need arises. Come with me. Was you okay, the God of our fathers? Was you okay, the one eyed God that sees all the activities of the universe? Was you okay, the God of retribution? We have offered one ram in your shrine and one white cock, and she has performed all of the things as custom demands. Now, here we are, pleading that you permit us to perform once more the final cleansing in your river. Bend down a bit. I don't know and the spirit of your late brother-in-law will never torment you or haunt you. For you have thrown the bone out. But I'm going to watch what will happen between the spirits and the dog. Now pull up this club and give it to me. Mm -hmm. 
Mama, so your son is that murderer who killed his own brother? <laughs> sorry, yo. Mama, sorry. Please, can I see him? Let him eat now, please. Your son does not deserve to eat. <laughs> not to talk of food. Yeah, it's police station. Officer. Bring the food here. Okuna. Amalunko de melo, 
Supermarket. Yes, Mr. Pedro. How may I help you? Um, you see, I I noticed you going out of the supermarket, and I was overwhelmed by your dazzling beauty. So, so I I decided to come and commend it. <laughs> Thank you very yes. much. Thank you. Uh, Miss, can we be friends? I mean, I will do anything for you. Just anything. No matter what it is. Beg your pardon, Mr. Pedro. If you don't mind, I am a married woman. I suppose you know my husband. I'm also a staunch Catholic, a born again Christian, an Asian man, for that matter. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, mate. Come on, does it really matter? I mean, we could be. Mr. Pedro, whatever you call yourself. Will you leave me alone? Look at you. This is how you people go about flooding homes apart with your cheap promises. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Get out! I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry. Look at you. Sorry. Stupid man. Sorry. I also know you are a member of my church. Don't worry. I promise you I'm going to report you to the parish priest. Stupid foolish he goes. I think I'm one of these cheap women you can, you, can, you can touch anyhow. Don't worry. I'm going to report you to my husband and he knows you very well. Foolish man. Oh, you're back. Yes. You took rather long at the supermarket. Yeah. You won't believe what happened today at the supermarket. What? Can you imagine Pedro or whatever he calls himself? He came toasting me. Irrespective of the fact that he knows that you are my husband. Did I hear you say Pedro was toasting you? <laughs> it was not just an ordinary toasting. He was blunt as to tell me he wants to sleep with me. What? Yes. Ha. You know me now. You know what I can do. I dressed him down and told him the story of his life. He will never forget me in a hurry. Imagine Pedro making advances at you. Oh. I will teach him a lesson he will never forget. Honey, please be careful with you. You know, that's the good can be. It can be dangerous. Let me get dressed first. Please just be careful with him, okay? Decent man. Look, cut that out. 
I want to know why you tried to seduce my wife. I didn't try to seduce her. I merely wanted to be friendly, but your wife got through. You shameless liar. You call me shameless liar? And you are an impotent bastard! What did you call me? You heard me. I said you are an impotent bastard! Mr. Nelson, you are nothing but a hand husband. A wife cannot conceive because she's living with a fellow woman. How dare you? Pedro, how dare you? Listen, Nelson. If you get home, re examine yourself. Maybe you could get to the circumstance already in your existence. Now get your hands off me. I said, get your hands off me. Now get out of this office. I said, leave my office now. I want to talk to real man before rushing off to school to pick my kids from school. If I had a gun, your funeral would be over by now. Count yourself lucky. Sir David has moved from his former room to room 106. Oh, really? Thanks for the information. Thank you. Hey, one more thing, ma. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know he's a politician, so he doesn't like people knowing his room. So don't tell him you are the one that showed him his new room. Thank you. Thank you very much. Silence, please. Go in. Oh, look at Silence. Did that. Okay, Silence. Thank What is this brat doing here? Excuse me. You're talking about manners? Will you answer my question before I tear this tribe into pieces? Answer my question! Excuse me, honey. I can't take any further insult from this woman. I'm reaching by the way. Very good, Edna. She's asking me who I am. Okay. Now tell her who I am. Honey, I will explain. Please, I will explain. Jesus Christ! Chief, did I hear you call this woman, honey? Don't tell me that you have something to do with this old hack. No, Clara, don't talk to her anymore. And you let you let him have an old hack. You brat! Look at you! Casey. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Your mates are in school! I'm surprised at your behavior. I told you guys about doing their projects. You are here! Screaming in the middle of the night! Casey, I'm not ashamed of myself. 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 I'm not
in your mind who is bad enough to be your, your, your father. Aren't you stupid? You talk again, I'll squeeze your mouth for you to sell it us. Will you shut up? Shut up! I thought you were decent. I never knew you were just a pig that you always want to eat from the dustbin. Sorry, ass. Stupid man. Idiot. Don't hurt me. Excuse me. Don't hurt me. I am disappointed in you. Please try, yeah. to, try to understand. Understand the words. We agree that then your only girlfriend as long as you are discriminated and so... It is true that we agreed. But that woman is so desperate. I don't even have a feeling for her. She is just a, 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 an intruder. And that is the more reason why I changed my room. But I don't know how the woman managed to, you know, to locate us. But please, darling, I promise you, darling, this thing will never happen again. Please. Don't you don't you me. me. Remember? You mean that what? That your birthday is coming around. And so? I'll make it up to you. Darling, I promise you a trip to the United States. I promise it will not happen again. I promise it will not happen again. Promise me. Since I got in touch with you, I can never look to another woman's face. Even mine. Serious? <laughs> and you know, what? the other day I went to the bank and I saw a girl. She just looked exactly like you. Serious? And you know what happened? What? I turned the girl around and I wanted to kiss her and suddenly she even knew. Serious? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was dreaming about you. Serious? I sleep and look at you. Senator David. Uh, who is he that we cannot handle him? Oh. I said, who is he? Lady Carl, I've never been so humiliated. I will so deal with him. Stop crying. I will make him pay for this. Oh, God. All right? Stop crying. Oh, God. You are still my baby. I remember the things you told me the last time we were together at Drug View Hotel. Dave, I love you. Please. Whatever I say then no longer matters. Lady Callista, 
your friend staged the shoe of shame in a hotel room. She fought a girl young enough to be her daughter. Tell me, Lady Callista, you want me to compromise my position? I am a senator of the Federal Republic. It is shocking that your friend wants to mar my political career. I am true and done with the relationship. And I cannot go back on my words. Senator David, have mercy. You can't abandon her now. Can't you see you're breaking her heart? She is the one who wants to destroy my, my life. And so, I am ready not only to break her heart, but her head, hands and legs, if I dare see her in this office again. After all, I need fresh blood. Madam Tessie, I expected you to conduct yourself with maturity and understanding over the incident. Instead, you were a big disappointment. If you dare even call me on phone, I will expose you and your husband will come to know about it. I didn't know it had got to this. Tessie, let us go. Can't just sit here taking notes. Please, leave my office. Tessie! Let's go. Nonsense. You want to tell my husband? I suppose you think you don't know you have a wife. Go ahead and expose me. Look at you. You know why I even came to me in the first instance? Because I wanted a baby. I wish you have not been able to keep me. How are we sure that you are even responsible for the ones your supposed wife has? How are we sure you have, you have them? You should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you, stupid, foolish senator. Tessie. Tessie, pull yourself together. I've been humiliated. This is an experience I would never want to forget in my life. God. <laughs> Tessie, stop this. It's not as if David is the only man in the world. Oh, lady girl. You don't know how it feels. You know how much I've sacrificed for that relationship. You know what I'm talking about. You know everything. Tessie, Good. <laughs> Tessie I understand. Look, I should take a large portion of the blame. Because, look, look. But no one thought it would turn out like this. No. I'm sorry. No, I'm not angry with you. You're not to be blamed for anything, please. I'm not angry. Good. <laughs> Tessie, I, I want you to remember why we went into this thing in the first place. Remember the whole idea was for you to have a child and protect your marriage? I didn't mean for it to turn out like this. No. I understand. It's okay. I'll be alright. Oh, Fatima, Immaculate Mother of Grace, who pray for us, help us today. Please forgive me. I regret ever going into any relationship with another man. I promise never to cheat on my husband again. Father God, it is because I am childless. That was why I decided to play a first one. In spite of all my outings, I could not conceive. <laughs> the 
this mentorship has cost me the life of our dear Lord Michael. Please, Father, forgive me. Most blessed Virgin Mary, please intercede on my behalf. Forgive me. Pray for me, Mother of Grace. How was your dear most blessed Virgin Mary? I did a child, my brother. My brother, please pray for me. Pray for me, my brother. Forgive me my sin. Pray that your son gives me a child. Oh, most blessed Virgin Mary. Intercede on my behalf, my brother. Intercede on my behalf, my brother. Most blessed Virgin Mary. Intercede on my behalf. I pray you, oh. Ah, <laughs> don't <laughs> 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 John! Dorito! John! Ha! Huh? Why are you sleeping during business hours? Are you not feeling fine? I'm okay, I'm okay. Hi. Ha. Brother, what do I do now? Since there is no customer, let me sleep. I will not be a wizard. I decide to be a poor man. John, John, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this? You know you're a Christian. You have no business with poverty. Just believe it in your heart. Chido, Chido, since I started this business, it's been like this or like that. Bad market. Do you know you're the only one that comes in here to buy my goose? Eh? Others come after pricing. How much is this one? They'll take it. How much is this one? I'll tell them. They'll just take it off. What is this? Chido, I, I, I have goose, but nobody is buying. John, I think something is wrong, go. Something is wrong somewhere. I feel the evil hand in this. I mean, I feel the same thing, sir. See, why don't we go to my pastor? Talk to him about this. I, think, I know he will, he will do something about it. The pastor? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, now if you're ready, I'm ready. <laughs> what do I do? I see goose everything. Eh? Just it. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um, do you have tubes? I need some tubes. I guess. I guess. Okay. Fifteen. Ah! Hey! Do you know? Fifteen! Cash and carry. Hey! I'm not going to I know the price and go. I'm paying cash. It's a lie. I get to go. Hey! Bring them, bring them out, bring them out for me, I beg. I mean, one, two, three, four, two, five, four. Honey, you do stuff? Yeah. Well, here's your own juice just the way you like it. Fresh. Mm. Now let me remove all of these. It's okay. So everything must be perfect. <laughs> Here you are. Oh. You feel better? Thank you very much, Anna. Huh? You're welcome. Mm. I love you. I love you too. Now, is there anything else you want? You're spoiling me. Honey, the pleasure is mine. You have served me over the years. Now it's my turn to reciprocate, okay? Look, I don't want you to be stressed up in this condition. So I am at your service 24 <laughs> hours, 7 days a week. <laughs> so anything you want, just say it and I'll do it, okay? Okay. Now, what would you like for dinner? 
Mm. Fried plantain and chicken. It is done. No, 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 honey. I want to prepare it myself. Honey, please don't bother yourself. I want you to have enough rest with my baby. I don't want anything to hurt you or him. Nothing will hurt us. Still, I want to prepare it myself. Please. Okay, if you say so. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. Ah, and I love you too, Junior. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let me go on there and start preparing dinner. revelation. First, the Spirit of God revealed to me that somebody was killed in your family. And the killer is a member of your family. But another person is accused of being responsible for his death. That family member is meant to suffer. Secondly, the Spirit of the disease is angry. It is clamoring for justice because the killer has tied up the spirit so that it will not have any effect on her anymore. Father, we thank you, and worship you, and glorify your name. Still have the way to you. The frustrated spirit has decided to vent his anger on you, John, by destroying your business based on the fact that his money is also in your business. That is the message. I thank you, I wish you to be in the fact that I thank you. And um, Pastor, are you saying that the killer is a woman? Yes, she is a woman, a wife to a member of her family. But, but, but Pastor, the only married person in my family is my eldest brother, Nelson. And, and the wife, Tessie, she's a Christian, a born-again Christian for that matter. Born-again Christian. A lot of people commit atrocity under the guise of being Christians.
Je ne peux pas me laisser ici. There is no blood on Michael's portrait. Oh, look at his eyes, my woman. <laughs> there is no blood on Michael's portrait. Oh. I know how much you loved Michael and how close both of you were. This is the bullet with which you killed me for doing nothing. You can have it. Forgive me. Forgive me. Take it. God has answered my prayers. What prayer? I am pregnant. <laughs> Are you serious? I am three months pregnant for Nelson. Oh, you mean you got pregnant? Yes. The first month went by. The second month went by. You didn't say a word to me. After all we went through. Oh, Tessie, we're not fair. It's not like that. It's not like that. You know I've never been pregnant before. I didn't even believe the doctor the first time he told me. So I had to repeat the test. Then it was six weeks old. I even told my husband lately, please forgive me, I'm sorry. <laughs> you mean you're really, really pregnant? Yes, Lady Carl, really. Hey! <laughs> he has done it for me. He has done it for me. He has done it for me. He has done for me. What is that the could not do? He has done for me. What is that the could not do? Oh my goodness, you are pregnant. Yes. Yes. He must be very happy. He is. The first time I told him, he jumped up so high that he nearly hit his head on the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, he now cuddles me like a newborn baby. He said, oh, my honey, please be careful. Don't hurt yourself and my yeah. baby, you know. <laughs> you are back to him. Yeah. You are back to him. No need, no need. <laughs> the testimony, this our God is, he is a forgiving God. My he is a merciful God. My goodness. Goodness, I think he understands that we are human. Yes. Look, this also celebration. Maria! Bring me all your champagne now. I don't want anything to hurt my baby, please. Oh, that's true. <laughs> get a uh, non alcoholic wine and then still get me the champagne. I'm going to celebrate. Oh, my God. Oh, 
This one all by myself. Do, so it, it, do, it, do it for me. Hey, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's a sign. Yes. That's a sign. I'm just putting a little bit for you. Mm. Just to be a little bit. Just taste it. Yes. <laughs> and then when your own comes, you can drink to your heart's desire. Yeah. I'm so I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Cheers. Now, to the newborn baby. Yes. To a wonderful life, to a fulfilled life, to being a woman, Amen. to everything. <laughs> 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 him. By the way, how did you get to know this your so-called pastor? My, my friend of mine took me to his office. A friend of yours took you to his office? John, we are members of the Catholic Church and our faith forbids us from going to other churches for whatsoever reason. Most of those pastors are fake. They are good at nothing but tearing rooms apart. If we must go to for such consultation, we have the Catholic Charismatic Movement and other praying bodies in the church. I don't want to hear this thing from you again. Anyway, thank God you have not mentioned it outside. As for your business, I get the members of the Charism to pray for you. Jim, go and find him something to eat. I want you to get ready and go back to the city first thing tomorrow morning. Am I clear? Am I clear? Go and eat your food. Congratulations. Thank you. Your wife has been delivered of a bouncing baby boy. Oh, thank you, doctor. Thank you. I'm so happy. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, God. Can I see them now? No, you have to wait. The nurses are still cleaning them up. No problem. I'll wait. I can't wait to carry my baby. Thank you. Yeah, you see them soon. Thank you. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. My wife just had a baby. Thank you. Yes, it's our first baby. Uh, thank you, God. After all these years. Hey. 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 
Now, you see, some group of unidentified robbers who did the shop last night. They, they robbed of over 15 shops around this place. This shop was among. A lot of these shops there now. We do love it now. What? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Only my shop. Only my shop. What is going on? Relax yourself. Relax yourself. What is going on? What is going on? Stand up, stand up, stand up. What is going on? Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Huh? Who is doing this to me now? Tell me who is doing this to me now. Look at my shop. Who is doing this to me, sir? What is all the contacts of all this? Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, I know what to do. John. Okay. John, who? No problem, I know what to do. What, what do you want to do? I will end it all. No, I know. No, 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 I know you are not. This is God. Look at my shop. Look at my shop. I tell him that he's to be relaxed. Look at my shop. 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 Look you don't understand what I'm going through. I have virtually lost everything. All I have left with are those petty ghosts who saw in my shop. And the, and the ghosts I ordered from Kutun, which are yet to arrive. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I don't know. John. Johnito. You know the source of your problems has been revealed to you. Why are you afraid? John, why are you afraid to tackle it, eh? Just, 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 yeah. The problem is that I, I am not yet convinced with what your pastor said. I, I am still contemplating. For how long will you keep contemplating? Okay. Even if you're not fully convinced, why don't you try another church? There are so many gifted men of God in this town. Go to them. Even in your own Catholic church. Yeah. John, just do something. Do something before you get yourself all messed up. Look at your body. You've not, you've not been eaten. Will you kill yourself? You, you, you must finish. You must eat up this food. You must eat up this food. Keep stabbing yourself, only kill yourself. In the name of the Father, and, and of, of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Veggie, Maria, Veggie, Veggie. Mama, we love you, Mama, we love you, Virgin Maria, Virgin Maria, Virgin Mama, we love you. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of the faithful. We can go in them the fire of your love. Send for thy spirit, for they shall be created. Thou shalt reign with the face of the earth. Let us pray for Brother John. 
Father, Lord, we thank you. Father, we worship you because you are the King of Kings. Father, we magnify the Holy Name. Father, you are the King of Kings. My Lord and my God. Father, you are the Asher. Father, you are the Holy Spirit. 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 Oh, Father, I will tell you that it is by the blessing of the name Jesus that every year, Father, we bring up all the need. All the witches, all the wizards that are coming up, Father, they will bow by the mention of the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you rise against all the principalities and powers of darkness that are coming up, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we worship you because we don't have answered our prayers. Father, take all glory, all honor, all adoration. We are silent to deny forever in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father. And of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother John, the spirit of your late brother is responsible for your misfortune. And it has vowed not to leave you unless you expose his killer. That was the spirit of God saying. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. There is power, there is power, there is power in the Lord. He can rule, he can rule the monkey. Mama! Mama, where are you? Hey! Nelson, my son! Hey! Welcome, Nelson! Mama? Testing has done it at last. We have a bouncing baby boy! Hey! The child I have desired all these years, Tessie has given it to me at last. Hey! Thank and you, both Mama. of them are doing well. Thank you, my son. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Mm. I can't wait to carry my, my grandchild. I know, oh, I know, I know. God has done it at last. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Stand up. Mm. Oh. I'm really happy. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah. John, Casey has done it at last. She has a bouncing baby boy. Hmm? John, where have you been? Both of you no more in the same house. Mama John has not slept in my house for three days now. And because of the new baby, I have not had time to check on him at the shop. No, no, no. Nelson, what are you saying? What are you saying? It, it's not what you think. John usually sleeps in his friends' houses. You can ask him. John, any problem? Come, let's go inside. No, Mama, I, I don't want to go inside. I prefer to stay outside. Mm. Yeah. Okay, sit down here. Yeah. 
sit down. Talk to me, I'm your mother. Hmm? Talk to me. Hmm? Anna, I came to tell you. Tessie killed Michael. Eh? Oh. John, what are you talking about? Hey! God. No. Your wife killed Michael. Have you gone mad? I know what I'm talking about. And I'll say it anywhere, anytime. She has to confess to her atrocities. Oh, what trouble am I in this? Mama, did you hear that? Oh. I'm sure John has gone mad. Please, please not. No, 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 I will not keep quiet this time around. And I will stop at nothing to make sure the truth is exposed. Not this time around. Mama, both of you are dancing, eh? Mama. Hey, dear. Hey. Both of you are dancing. John. John, come back. Oh, God. John, come back. You're dancing, eh? God has done it for you. Both of you are dancing. John. Keep on dancing. Hey. Keep on dancing. He has done it for you. Of course. Michael is dead. Hi. What the hell am I in for a guess? Listen. I have not lost his senses. Because I can't imagine someone who is in his right mind saying something like that. Eh? Is it not very clear that it was a woman that shot Michael? Has he not always threatened to kill him? Why, why is John leveling such accusations against me? Why? I have done a lot for John. I have always taken him like my own son. I gave him food. I made sure he never lacked anything in this house. Why has he decided to pay me back by tarnishing my good image? Why? Why, honey? Why? No, please, please, please. No. Oh, God. Look, it's okay. Please. Hey, God. Stop crying, okay? Please. Don't bother yourself about this. Sit down, sit down. Look, I am very, very sure that John has started smoking Indian hemp and it has affected his brain. Please, it's okay. Meanwhile, the Igwe has invited me to the village over this issue. I'll be traveling to the village tomorrow. Help! But please don't bother Hi. yourself. It's not a problem. Help! Why me? Honey, I said it's Why all right. Me? It's all right. Look, oh. I know, I know you are innocent. You are the last person to think of anything like that. You love everybody. You worship God with all your heart. You don't mess around like other married women. You respect both the young and the old. Look, God. relax. Okay? I'm going to make sure that your name is cleared. You hear me? Oh. Look, dry your tears, okay? And take Junior to his room now that he's sleeping. doing here with the new baby? I am exposed, Lady Callista. Exposed how? My emails have found out that I was responsible for the death of Michael. And how did that happen? I don't know. John, the last one of the males is responsible. My husband has even been summoned by the Igwe in respect of that. 
I am finished, Lady Calista. No, I am no, finished. No, 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 you are not finished. What is your husband's response to all this? He's on my side. Always on my side, you know. There you are. You've got nothing to worry about. Listen. Go home and feed your child. And stop worrying. Leave it to me. It's me, Alistair. I can handle it. Come on. All you need to do is feed me information on a day-to-day basis about what's going on. I'll take care of things. Get up. Let me see you. Off. Go on. Just carry this baby up and down and worry yourself to death about nothing. It's okay now, it's okay, please. Please, 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 please. Quiet, please, quiet. I salute you, my people. You see, we cannot resolve this issue by uh, being rowdy. Because it's a very crucial matter, a matter of life and death. Therefore, I suggest that we tackle it with all the maturity we can command. That is my view. Thank you, Your Highness. If we continue like this, uh, I fear that we might not arrive at any, uh, anything conclusive or tangible. Your Highness, since we have norms, customs, and traditions that guide our land, I suggest that we subject the suspect to oath taking. Yes, Your Highness. Let us subject her to oath taking. If she is innocent, nothing will happen to her. Yes. But if she is guilty, Ogunza will kill her. Yes. Mm-hmm. Your Highness. I agree with the chair of course. Of course. Igwe, my wife is a Christian and also a mother of faith in the church. Therefore, she cannot take part in any idol worship. And moreover, I do not want her position in the church to be jeopardized. <clears throat> Your Highness, the option for all taking is banishment. In other words, if she cannot take the oath and nobody is willing to take it for her, then she will banish from our land. Yeah. But be informed, Nelson, that if she is banished, you also will be banished. Right. In that case, Your Highness, I am willing to take the oath on her behalf to prove her innocence. <laughs> that woman just put to bed, and I do not want anything to happen to her or to my baby. My son, are you aware of the consequences of what you are about to do? Yes, Your Highness. Are you also aware that you will die if she is responsible of the crime she's accused of? 
Your Highness, since there is no other way to prove her innocence, I am willing to take the oath on her behalf. Mm -hmm. And I want it done as soon as possible. Uh, you may sit down. Thank you. It's all right. Yes. 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 It's all right. Very well then. The Imoku Festival of Ogugunza is two days hence. And I, the Igwe Okacha, will not want anything whatsoever to disrupt the ceremony. So, the oath taking will take place at the village square the second day after the Imoku festival ceremony. And your wife must be there before you take the oath. Claire? Yes, it will. It is settled. It's all right. Thank you very much. It's all right. <laughs> Nelson. Nelson. Um. Uh, Nelson. I want you to examine your wife thoroughly. You may be making the greatest mistake of your life. Women cannot be trusted. Ichim Okedi, what are you talking about? How can you even think or believe that my wife could have access to a gun, let alone kill somebody? How? Uh, I did not say that she did it, but I am only Chief, said... Please. My wife is a Christian mother. She doesn't mess around like other women. And what do you people have against her for crying out like what? Is it because she's soft? I, I don't understand you. Mm -hmm. filled with sorrow that this type of thing is happening in my family. I call you people here in the presence of my only brother, Ochudo, who had to travel all the way from Amij, my hometown, because of this case. I'm appealing to you people. Let us drop this matter. Continue with this matter will only cause us more sorrows. Please, don't send me to an early grief. After all, Michael is dead. There is no need for this oath taking. You are all my children. Please, let's end this crisis here and now. Please. Hmm? <coughs> Nelson. Uncle. Joe. Uncle. Both of you are brothers. And at the same time, my nephew. I want this case withdrawn by tomorrow. Uncle, sorry to cut you short. This matter has gone beyond that. Somebody's name is at stake here, and that person is no other than my wife. I am sorry to disappoint both of you, but I will see this matter through, even if it's the last thing I do. If you'll excuse me, I have a long journey ahead of me tomorrow. Nelson, please, sir. Please, Nelson. Please stop crying. The children don't know what 
they are getting into. Eh? Don't worry. I'll talk to them. More especially Nelson. Please don't cry. Just allow him to go and rest. Hmm? It's all right. It's okay. husband back? Yes, he has returned. Ah, so you must be having a lovely evening, a lovely night. They said I am going to swear to an oath to prove my innocence. But my husband opted to do it on my behalf. Oh, don't worry. Everything will be alright. I will get a good native doctor to cover you. Nothing will happen to your husband. Lady Carr, please. You have to help me. I don't want anything to happen to my husband, please. I would. I just said that. Don't worry. You go and get a good night's sleep and give my regards to your husband. Don't worry. Good night.
My good people of Omonza, I greet you. First, I want to thank all of you for your efforts and contributions to the just concluded Imoko Festival. You did very well indeed. May the gods and our ancestors bless you all. Secondly, you all know why we are here today to discuss a very crucial issue. And I do assure you that as soon as the chief priest Ezem Banefo arrives. The proceedings will commence. Thank you. The fire which our ancestors put cannot quench in my hand. Nelson, step out. Pull off your shoes. My son, Ugugunza does not spare anybody who is guilty. Have you searched your wife thoroughly? Woman, do you have anything to say? 
Have you heard what she said? Yes. Are you ready to swear to this oath on her behalf? Yes, I am ready. Thank you. Where after me? I I Nelson Okoye Nelson Okoye of Omonza community of Omonza community do solemnly swear do solemnly swear on behalf of my wife on behalf of my wife in the name of Ogugunza and do hereby declare that if my wife is responsible for the death of my brother Michael, let Ogugunza strike me dead! Let Ogugunza strike me dead. <coughs> <coughs> Can you people see? Yes. My wife is innocent. She is innocent. Be quiet! If it is only seven days, if nothing happens to you, then your wife is innocent. But if she is guilty, you must die seven days from today. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen to my husband. John, John.
Oh God. God. Callista is dead. She died four days before the oath was taken. That means she died the day she was supposed to visit the renowned native doctor that will help stop the oath from having any effect on my husband. I am finished. Oh, my husband. How I wish I knew that native doctor. I would have gone to him to find out if anything was done. Oh God, so this is how I am going to lose my husband, my beloved husband. No, no, I think I should visit the former native doctor. This is a matter of life and death. I believe he will be of help. I believe he will be of help. Yes. Yes. My husband must not die. Pot. 
But two people made him touch it and it killed him. He should have used the Bible. He was a Christian. Woman, who poisoned their husband? I don't know. All I know is that you people did something to him through that devilish spot. Um, our wife, we are concerned about your case. We shall look into the matter when, when it comes up. Meanwhile, your message to us has been confirmed. Our concern now is to assist you with the burial arrangement of your late husband, who was our brother as well. My husband will not be buried until his killers are exposed. You people will not bury him. <clears throat> Our dear wife, we share your feeling. We share your grievance and sorrow. But please, let the sleeping dog lie. Let us not start apportioning blame over who is wrong or right. For now, let us join hands together to solve this immediate problem. Yes. Nelson is dead, and all we owe him as his family members and kinsmen is to speed up his burial arrangement. Yes. Because keeping him in the mortuary for a long time is of no use to anybody. Oh. Hmm? Yes. And please, coming to what you said earlier about exposing his killers, yes, we agree with you. Yes. Well, please let us finish his funeral first. Then we come into that. Please, our dear wife, let peace reign. <laughs> I don't know. Now, informer, mm. the engine suddenly went off. It is like the cost doesn't want to go home. The cop doesn't want to go home. Yes, sir. Uh, driver, open the box. You check. not your home, eh? The pay setter. The great one who turned iron into money. Yes. Eh? Mm -hmm. This is not your place. Can you see if you have a Eh? 
aucun monde au chien nous a volé. Dès le 2, le prix n'a pas un nez, mais n'est-ce pas un nez, mais The hope of the poor, the hope of our youths. This is not your house. Get up and let's go to the house. Kunia Kaina, driver, start the engine. Didn't you know the restart? It seems that this cops wants to disgrace us. Let us disgrace it. Yes. Nay, what do you want to do? What is the meaning of this? Hey. Women, stay clear of this. Hey. Open it. Next thing, you want to disgrace us. Open it wide. Open everything. No, here. No, 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 this cup here belongs to Ogugu Uza Orako. Where do people think that you are taking it to? We have been ordered to bring it to Ogugu Uza Shrine immediately. You push also come with us. No! You cannot take my husband. He was a Christian. Yes! yes. Woman, no. shut up. You also come with us. Hey. Uh, hey. Tracy, don't worry. We are with you. Yes, yes we are with, with you. you. Thank you, Dad. Uh, cover him up.
<laughs> Be quiet! Stop crying! Keep quiet! <laughs> Nebuli o, nebuli o. Mwalimu wa muda hano ta. Ha, mpa hinga, mpa hinga, mpa hinga, mpa hinga. The people of Munza, I greet you all. Our visitors from the city. I greet you also. Without wasting much of your time, I want to inform you that Nelson, whose body is lying here before us, died because of the oath he took on behalf of his wife. What this simply means is that his wife, Teresa, is guilty. Is guilty of the things she's being accused of. He said you should come out. No. We are with you. We are with yes. you. Yes. 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 No problem. We are with you. You came, your brother-in-law, Michael, and deceived your husband into taking the oath in your state. I did not kill anybody. Yes, yes. 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 And you people say we are Christians. Yes, we are Christians. Yes, we are Christians. Yes, are Christians. We are. Is that what you are being taught in the church? Is that what you are being taught in the church? Since you are still denying, touch this stuff. I will not touch anything. I'm a Christian. No, she will not touch it. She's an Ezin. Not yes. only Ezin, but Ezin and Cope. Of yes. course. Good brother of faith. Yes. yes. We cannot force her to touch it. There is still another way to do it. Yes. The Bible. Shut up. The Bible. Shut up.
You sent for me. Oh, yes, yes. Um, I sympathize with you for all that has happened in your family uh, this period of time. I'm also aware that you lost two of your sons. Nelson, your first son, will never be forgotten as long as he has a son. I've invited you, most importantly, to tell you that I have concluded with the divisional police officer for the unconditional release of Abuneme, your son. Huh? We all now know he is innocent. Uh, he will regain his freedom tomorrow. Hmm? Don't you worry, not to bother. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Just be courageous, eh? Be of good cheer. Hmm? Hmm? Good. Lest I forget, two of my cabinet chiefs will accompany you tomorrow to effect the release at the police station. Hmm? Okay. That's all right. Okay.
Nice girl. Mama? Hey. Papa? Mama? My son, so you are alive. I'm alive, Mama. Did you You have found who killed your brother. So I did not kill Michael after all. Who killed Michael? Oh, well, uh, let's go home. You can see that Mama is tired. Let's go home. Somebody talk to me now. Tell me who we get in the house. Who killed Michael? We will talk in the house. Well, talk to me now. Somebody is here. Talk to me now. Not, John, tell me now. Who killed my Let's go. Let's huh? You can see that Mama is tired. Oh, John, John, come. John. Oh, good. We will talk no, in stop. the house. Let's go to the house. John, talk to me now. Talk to me, John. Talk to me. Who killed my cat? Huh? Oh, Mama. Mama. Chile 